So, this is the, the big uh, meteorite that I was explaining about in my last video. And uh, you can see what I've got here for a reference. I've got a soda can sitting there that, uh, that kind of explains the size here. But basically, this is 20 inches this way. This way is 10 and, 10 and a half inches. And this way is 10 inches. So, and it's well over 200 pounds. So I don't have a scale, but somewhere between two and 300 because you just cannot lift this. You got to have a hoist. It took two of us three hours to put this in my Jeep when I located it. And all I saw sticking out of the ground when I was metal detecting was an area about like this. And this is the side that was down, and the top that was exposed was is currently laying down because we had to kind of roll it. This discoloration you see here is actually washable, but it's the muric acid uh, and solution test that I was attempting to do to try and find out uh, whether or not this had a nickel content. But uh, if you get the get out of the shade there, this is uh, that magnet, and you can see it's extremely magnetic. So. Um, it's very heavy and to the point to where it's even bowing in the sides of this tool cart here which is designed to take engine parts so if you look at this from a from a backdrop here that's uh <laughs> that's the big bog the big dog so any comments any interest um let me know you can see also from the from the close-ups here that we've got some what appears to be some kind of a burn area and if I go back and I look over on this side I'll get my shadow out of the way here you can see that that uh, this area here was like there was something there and kind of popped off and all of those that I showed you yesterday in the video are probably from this because they were all found in the same area so just really really interesting stuff here and this was in the desert in the middle of nowhere so okie doke